There's a new show out on TV called The United States Val, and it's about an Afghani interpreter who was sponsored to come to the United States by a soldier that he worked with, and now they're living together, they're becoming best buds in the United States, and they're going through life together. And this show looks really interesting to me. I really want to watch it, and it's out now. So I'm going to be watching it and doing a reaction to the first episode, which I'll be posting later or tomorrow or something like that. I have so many fond memories of interpreters that I worked with, particularly in Afghanistan. Guys who risked their lives alongside Americans for just the chance that they might be able to bring their family or themselves to the United States one day. And for many of them, that chance never came true or they were killed along the way. So many interpreters have been killed working for the United States, killed and wounded, and then targeted for cooperating for the, with the United States who have never seen the light of day outside of Afghanistan and Iraq. And that breaks my heart. It really does. I mean, I think about this all the time, and I've talked about it on the show before. And I have here the trailer for the first episode of the United States Val, the trailer for the pilot. And we're going to watch that now and react to it. And then I'll be watching the first episode and giving you guys my thoughts on that at another time. So let's hop over and check that out. There he is, there he is. Ow, over here! Oh. I want to see everything. Washington, D.C., Las Vegas. And what's the name of that place that sells peanut butter and brings it to you on a forklift? Costco. <laughs> the whole time I served in Afghanistan, Al was my interpreter. Hey, you're welcome! Let me get you a beer. Dad, no alcohol. First of all, I love these actors. I like a lot of these actors, uh, especially this guy from Breaking Bad. I forget his name. He's awesome. And uh, and right here, they just said, no alcohol, because a lot of people, Muslim people, don't drink alcohol in Afghanistan. Uh, it wasn't uncommon. A lot of people would drink alcohol. A lot of people kind of ignored it, in Iraq especially. But uh, it's, it's obviously one of those kind of cultural mishmash, a clash of cultures here. So you've got the... You've got the Afghan interpreter, you've got the American dude, and you've got the military member. So there's all these different levels of understanding of different cultures. This could be a lot of fun. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, your son should be sorry for talking to you with that tone of voice. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> it's, it's actually so funny because a lot of the interpreters were really good shit talkers. They were really good trash talkers. Like they, they're pretty, they, they, they're wisecrackers. You know what I mean? And they, if, if they've been working with Americans for a long time, they kind of pick up on that kind of American military trash talk kind of camaraderie type situation that we have going on. And they get right in and get down and dirty with it. You know, they're out there on all the ops. They're in the most dangerous circumstances, not carrying a weapon, you know, in the same VIX, doing the same stuff. So uh, they fit right in with the team if they're a good interpreter. Do you know that your Uncle Al is your godfather? Which some might say is even more important than an actual father. Mm, no one says that. <laughs> How could you not tell me you were having marriage problems? I could have fixed it. From Afghanistan? It's not the moon. We have Wi-Fi. A lot of people probably don't even realize that that's true. In Afghanistan, they have cell phones. They have internet. A lot of places don't. It's true. A lot of places out there in the middle of nowhere, the little villages, they might not have the internet. They might not even have, they might not even know that there are any other villages. They don't know anything except for what they're told by people who come into the village. So that's something to keep in mind too. But a lot of people in Afghanistan have all the amenities that the rest of us have. They're living in Kabul. If they're living in Kandahar, they have a lot of the regular old things that we have everywhere else, running water, restaurants, internet, all of that. They're probably watching my YouTube channel. I appreciate how much you want to help, but he couldn't make it work. Do you think you tried hard enough? He's the one who didn't try hard enough. He was probably exhausted from war. There was a lot of walking. <laughs> That's a good point. And he's eating a Capri Sun, or he's drinking a Capri Sun. Can we just, can we just pay attention to the fact that they haven't drinking a Capri Sun and how awesome that is? I love that. Thank you for keeping my brother safe. As your godfather, I will protect you for the rest of my life. Will you be my godfather too? <laughs> Get your own. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> You'll get used to it. You... <laughs> There's a lot of touchy feeliness in Afghanistan. A lot of the people will come up, they'll put, you know, their hand on your shoulder and just leave it there for for forever, frankly. I mean, until you do something to like 
have them take it off. They'll grab you a lot. It's common to see men walking with their hands on each other's backs over there, like on, on their lower back, how you might walk with your partner, your spouse or whatever. It's they, they hold hands. All of this stuff is very common. So I wonder if they'll approach any of that or if this is as edgy as they'll get with that kind of stuff. But this culture clash thing is kind of interesting. I'm actually excited to kind of see where, where they go with this. United States of Al, all new Thursday on Global, also available on Stack TV. There's a little bit of controversy over this show, which I, I, I would be remiss to gloss over, which is the actor playing Al is not Afghani, he's Indian. And, you know, you can think what you want about that. I'm in the, personally, I think he's an actor and I hope that they found the best actor available for the job. Um, it would have been great if the person was Afghani, I guess, but I think that it's an actor playing a character and I think that it's okay that he's not necessarily from Afghanistan, but I'd like to hear what you guys think about that too. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope that you're excited to check out the show. I certainly am. The first episode is out. If you Google United States, Al, you can watch the first episode on the website that it's on. I think it's sponsored by CBS. I'm going to go watch it and give a full review of what I think of the first episode, but I'm super excited. I think that that looks awesome. And I think it's an important story to tell. Shout out to all the interpreters out there in Afghanistan, Iraq, who've been fighting alongside Americans and for the freedom of their country regardless of the danger that it presents to them or their family because they want a better lives for themselves and their family. And I hope that as many of them as possible are able to get to the United States. And I hope all of them are thriving, living safe lives wherever they are or eventually, you know, achieve that dream. And thank you for protecting me and so many others when we've been overseas. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want, in the description down below, there's links where you can get Scuttlebutt Show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.